Nah, man. I mean, the disconnect between the older generation and the younger generation, I believe, is just knowledge and respect. Like, you, we are taught to be good leaders. You got to be good followers. Phil comes from a lineage. That nigga can quote his whole lineage of his black belt. This nigga Paul, he comes from somewhere in Scandinavia and or Jamaica, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he respects it. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying is like these kids, they don't care about what... Like when, when you was... When you when we talk about something like Turbo Man, we see the Turbo Man. What you niggas know about Turbo Man? That's part of like show us what you know so that we can accept you in part of the group. These kids can't answer what you know about shit. Fact. They don't know nothing, my nigga. They don't know nothing. They're they're all sh and it goes in further deeper. And I ain't trying to get political, but like we make people famous and popular who don't have merit. These niggas don't earn it. You could get on you can get on Instagram and catch an algorithm and do something stupid on camera and become instant famous. You could say catch me outside and become instant famous. We got we to a point now where being embarrassed on camera is a way to get fucking hot in the right. world, nigga. You could start also a great way to segue into this nigga Sneeko getting beaten to death by <laughs> I have no idea who Sneeko is, man. I don't know who he is either. Do you know who Sneeko I don't is? Know. Oh, he's you Paul, know who Alright, so Sneeko is a streamer and he's known for doing a bunch of disrespectful stuff like on, is he his, really? on his stream yeah and the thing is like even if you hear before the sean strickland thing he got to do with him he's like he's like nah yeah yeah you finna he's like this dude right here yeah you finna take like they kind of i'm sure there was some sort of like playing around but they was like disrespecting like oh yeah man this this thing right here you finna beat this nigga up talking to sean strickland uh... yeah and even if you playing around it's sean strickland my yeah man. like because the other thing too is like all you had to do is google the person you about to get in there with yeah i'm yeah, sure he know was Sean Strickland wrong? Hell no. For... Nah. Nah. Hell no. He knew what he signed up Regardless of whoever the dude was. Like, nah. He knew what he signed up for. Nah. He wanted a viral moment. Yeah. He got yeah. a viral that's moment. What, that's what they chase now. They chase this moment. I don't care if I get my ass whooped. I don't care if I get ran over by a bus. I don't care what happens. As long content over everything. I know man. niggas you know I mean? will literally chop their head off yeah. on the stream yeah. and die if they if, for the clout. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, this shit is crazy. Do you do you think Sean Strickland should have went easier on him? No, nah, I think he should have wilded out on him. Like, if he lost his life in that moment, I wouldn't have cared. Here's why. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm not even that type of guy. Here's why. You can't play this game, right? And, and it's not a game. It's not a sport. People say, you could play basketball. I'm a basketball player. You can mm -hmm. play basketball. You can play football. You can't play mixed martial arts fighting right. i grabbed a motherfucker in with his the back of his head and i drove my knee into his eye socket and i broke his face i didn't know i was capable of that like literally i never did that in my life and when i needed to do it i did it and after i was still kind of like damn nigga like i was kind of weirded out about that yeah but like i had to do what i had to do in that moment right and I ain't no barbaric motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit took years off my life. I'm sure of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got floaters in my right eye forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm compromised from this. So, like, what I what we've been through in this, you don't get to, like, just come in and, dabble. you know what I'm saying, and, and, and diddy bop and, and be that guy. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Like, I've, I've compromised myself. I've almost died in this sport. If you want to get in there and and... And enter this space, cool. The consequences come with it. So whatever the fuck happens after that, cool. Grabbing a man in his face and driving your knee into his eye socket, you could fucking kill somebody like that. I don't. I don't want to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is like the 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 repercussions, and this is like a byproduct of what could happen in this sport, right? So like anybody that like tries to get clout off of it or you know what I'm saying? Any type of notoriety that didn't put in the work, I could give a fuck less. You know what I'm saying? So well, I think Sean was nice. You know what I'm saying? Personally. Um, I, I think he did take it easy on him. He definitely, whole, did. He the definitely whole, did. The whole the the whole like build up, like you know, you realize now I'm going to fuck you up. It was kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it, it hasn't dawned on you yet. <laughs> and I'm, you just nothing you can do to me. <laughs> as long as you cut a promo on him, man. All's well to end well, man. And I mean. If you count it, he hit him maybe all of like 10, 15 times and shit. He, he, he'll be all right. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't even, like, he, he hit him clean maybe like eight times. Yep. 
But that flurry, like you said, was about 15 shots. You know and, what I mean? And he waited to like the last minute or last 30 seconds to tee off on him and it got ended immediately. Yeah. So, it, you know what I mean? It could have been worse. And then but, everyone's like, yo, I give him props for getting in there. I'm like, what? Where do I live? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> And there you go. That's what I, and basically it circles me back facts. around. You get, the, you get the clout or you get the respect just for existing yeah you know what i'm saying like you don't have to do anything well so we was talking off camera we was talking about female battle rap and why i don't fuck with it garbage and all that kind of shit we was Damn. talking because the thing is it feels like they give these people it's like when when bow wow first got on and he was rapping no you know you didn't, he didn't write it niggas dancing on stage or whatever everybody like, oh, look at hercules hercules but it's like you're doing that because he's a kid and you're basically saying he shouldn't be that good or it's a girl and you're like i didn't expect that or white people. I like to call him Jack Barlow, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the bar solo. Jack could just get on a song with no feeling, no emotions, and just halfway rapping like Drake on every goddamn song, and everybody will throw the fucking flowers in the air for him. And I'm like, these niggas aren't really that good. And even if they are decent, they're mediocre at best, and you're giving it to them because we allow people to be successful and famous just for the fact that they're successful Okay, and let me ask you this, though. So you mentioned Jack Harlow, I did. right? But does not Jack Harlow not solidify the fact that Eminem is good, <laughs> right? Because every white rapper that comes out, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't, they no. come out to a lot of fanfare. There was a time when Asher Roth, oh my God, I love college. And then we just, could go. I could. We could. I, there's a thousand white <laughs> niggas that um, little dicky. With, with, all with, them. Only thing Eminem did for all these niggas is allow them to, because it used to be a white nigga rapping. We'd be like. Get this nigga the fuck out of here. So he would, we wouldn't even really give him a chance to yeah. shit. So Eminem has, had to be that dope in order for us to like open our ears towards them. And then the ones that came after kind of benefited from that. Like he might, all right, let me, let me see what he got. But I think it went too far. Like now niggas just could, if you put together two words rhythmically, we right. all of a sudden think right, you're, you're right, part right. of the Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. But I mean, R.I.P. to Eminem. He used to be the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew that nigga. I knew that nigga. I used, used, to, know, I used time, to know that man. nigga, dog. I don't know, man. Like, they, I could take all the hate. I never thought that nigga was top tier. Never? Wow, man. Never? As far as rap, he is good at that, right? He is good at the art of rap. There's no if, ands, or buts. Like, there is a rap to me is not an opinion like it's a skill you yeah. can be good and or bad at rap right your preference now is is different you know I, mean, I don't like his subject matter blah, blah blah so like i know he is good at rap i me personally why i never held him that high regard because i always hated his songs always hated his music always hated his subject matter you know what i'm saying so but like mm. as him being a bad rapper no i just never thought he was elite so for me a part of rap is being able to make songs, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Being able to make good music. Yeah. So like, he's good at the art of rap, right? Double on Tondra's triple, quadruple, like fucking his rhyme schemes are incredible. Yeah. His cadences, he goes slow, fast, m a monster yeah. in the art of rap. But to me, he can't make songs personally. Like okay. I can name like five songs ever that I like from him. Maybe three by himself. Let me see if I can guess. Let me see if I can guess. Stan. The tea is gone cold. Not afraid. Oh, I like Stan. Love the way you lie. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> Lose love, yourself. Lose some trash souls. Lose yourself. Okay. Hi, my name is? No. Fucking terrible. <laughs> like, how is, that, the... how is that a good song? Like, I mean, I'm being funny. Like, how is that a good song? You know what it was? That shit it's is like, garbage. It's like, okay, for example, me, I don't watch movies like The Human Centipede. I don't see what niggas get out of that shit. It's a made up story. I can see if it was a real life story. I'm like, God, this really happened. It's a you made really up sold story. His mouth to his ass, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. nigga. You oh, can really see that nigga. Man. You can really see the pain in the eyes when, the, when the his anguish. mouth was was tied to the anus and shit. <laughs> I can't see what, why anybody would think of that. Write that down, and then a Hollywood producer say, "Hmm, so you're saying the whole movie he's sewing mouths to asses? <laughs> yes, nigga. That sounds crazy. And How many mouths? And how many? <laughs> <laughs> so I feel what you're saying. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. But I think what it was was just for me as a kid. My favorite rapper was Redman, right? And then here comes this white boy that's saying this zany shit, but it's clever at the same time. And it was out of left field. So even though it was something like we never heard, 
back then being original was a real big thing. So having something that I never heard before and being skillful at it, I had to pay attention to it. And then when you listen to the album, which I'm sure you probably never listened to the full album, right? Uh, yes oh, and no. Did. Wait, when were you introduced to him? So like, because like we said <laughs> Fabulous, you- to, uh, Eminem? Like, yeah. 99? Yeah, about when he came yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because my boys loved him. Yeah. Um, I had a, what's funny, I had a white friend up north. He was like the only white kid around, Jewish kid, and he fucking loved him. Right. So like, I listened to him early because of him. And I just, I just never, like for me, I like Royce the Five Nine. I've always liked them better than Eminem. And he, they're like the same. Shout but he just, Royce the he makes better songs and he has like, Shout he's just like a, uh, he is to me, Raps just like Eminem, you know what I'm saying? Like, but the nigga version. But uh, he's like a nigga Eminem. Like I've I've always loved Royce the Five Nine yeah. and like liked Eminem. Yeah. Well, he just put out. How old is Royce? And Royce makes so, amazing songs to me. Song, no? You know what I'm saying? Royce is fifty something. No, no. Gotta, I mean, no. Eminem, Eminem is fifty one. Damn, is he? Yeah, yeah. So they gotta be close in Fuck. age. Fuck. Yeah, it's crazy. And I was going to say, Royce Damn, the Five Nine is man. one of those rappers I'm 30, that's yeah. gotten better. Yeah, he keeps getting better. <laughs> that's gotten yeah, see, better. That's how I feel about Fabulous. Shit. That's how I feel about him. It's, it's a couple of those. I can't get at the Fabulous, huh? my nigga. But what I'm saying is, like, so for me, I was in Detroit, right, in 99. He's I'm 47. Name, excuse me, my bad. Okay, 47. Yeah, he's right there. He Royce the Five Nine. Yeah. yeah. And we thought it was a black guy sounding like a white boy. Who? Eminem. When Hi My Name Is came out. No, you did Absolutely. not. Absolutely. Where are you from? Detroit. I ain't gonna disrespect this truck. No, them, niggas, saying, them niggas give it up crazy. Yeah. I, was, I was hoping you were gonna nah, say that man, Arkansas. Well, what I'm shit. saying, you know, I wasn't playing this to crazy. <laughs> when did he ever sound like a black dude? No, no, no. What I'm saying, no, is he thought he believe... thought a black dude was doing a white voice. Yeah, because they couldn't believe he was putting together oh, yeah. the words so okay. well. And Got so me. when I find, oh shit, and then you finally hear the whole album, and so I, I, bizarre, right? Okay, bizarre thinks of crazy shit. Nigga is not lyrically nice though. You know Facts. what I'm saying? So you take that Royce. That was a nigga. Are you friends with Bizarre? <laughs> Bizarre is lyrically trash. What the fuck is you talking about? Very trash. Nice. Well, what I'm saying is, are you thinking that, this thinking that off the wall <laughs> shit? You know what I'm saying? But Eminem is matching that off the wall shit with lyricism, right? So when I was listening to the Slim Shady LP or the Marshall Mathers LP, like he's saying wild shit and some stuff that you can't say now. Obviously, his biggest hits and his biggest, most impactful lyrical record. Dropping the f bomb. All that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, but it was like, okay, this nigga is spitting though. I don't care what he's talking about. And so he has some he has some joints though. No, man. of course, of course. What yeah. you, what you but saying? now the nigga relies on all, you know, triple quadruple entendres. His music like, is God. Yeah, God I can't listen to it now. no more, man. I Terrible. can't I can't Garbage. even who Eminem? Yeah. Garbage. No, he's lost all all ability to be witty. He's lost it sounds to me like he records the song. And then puts the music in afterwards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like this nigga just—I don't know what the fuck he be rapping to. That's so deep. But yeah. you know, you give it. He still sells a lot of records. He still connects with a lot Duh. of people. And I was gonna say, like, when you listen to the, he caught my attention with the zany shit. But when I listened to the album and he told his story a little bit, yeah, on on Slim Shady. And then I, I, the next album, he told his story more. He went more in depth. Then on the third album, he got political. You started seeing like who he is and what he really thinks about shit. And then, you know, he dropped 8 Mile and uh, that was pretty much it. He had like, it was 99 to what, 2004? This nigga yeah. was literally one of the best writers. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, it's, and I can understand if you don't like the music or you don't like the topic, but like you said, putting the words together, he's one of the best writers. Oh, for sure. Then... He lost like the nigga when he sings now and shit. He harmonizes. It's fucking. Nigga stop doing horrible. drugs, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. That's another thing. That's another theory out there that I read that the drugs that people are doing is, is, uh, you know what I'm saying, influencing the music that's being made and shit. Hey, I wouldn't put it past him. I've never done a drug in my life. Um, I mean, I don't know if liquor's a drug. Oh, no, I don't do drugs, man. I, I, don't, I don't do drugs. I wish so I would have known that. I put a little something in your cup. <laughs> I, 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 in your young I, I, I thought I was I doing you a favor, I, 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 I didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> like to walk on water? <laughs> shout, shout out to Young LA. Uh, they got a new spring line that dropped. Mm. Oh, shit. Code Fresh. You get 15% off. I need to run that up this month. YoungLA.com. Mm. Go cop some. Any, they got... Clothes for your girl, 
if you go into the prom, if you go into the gym, if you go into the fucking boxing gym, if you go into the, they got, I've never seen a spread of ensembles like Young LA got. They got everything. YoungLA.com, Code Fresh. Go buy some shit if you if you support me.